Oh my, it looks like we're back at it yet again. Technically, Next Generation hasn't even started yet. I thought we were past this, but I guess we're just in for much more of the same all over again. Let's discuss. Hey, it's uh, your editor over at uh, Share My Cosplay Freak X here, back once again talking gaming. We love everything cosplay and gaming, so uh, can you blame us? Anyways, uh, if you do like what we're doing here on the channel, please do think about leaving a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. As a reward, we're doing a small giveaway. Uh, more details at the end of the video for that one. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. So, without missing a beat, the internet, i.e. YouTubers, and have once again taken something a Microsoft exec has said in an interview and turned it upside down. Microsoft has been riding a, a high on the hype train as of late with all the good news uh, coming from their camp and basically lack of news from the PlayStation camp. However, the fickle people on the internet are doing their best to put the brakes on. So, as a quick recap, uh, Matt Booty, who is, of course, the head of Microsoft Game Studios over Xbox, was doing an interview recently and said the following. As our content comes out over the next year, two years, all of our games, sort of like PC, will play up and down that family devices. Uh, we want to make sure that if someone invests in Xbox between now and Series X, they will feel that they made a good investment and they are com and that we're committed to them with content. And of course, people jumped all over this. Uh, we have gaming sites, we have people like your favorite Nintendo guy making videos saying that Microsoft will have no games for the first two years Series X is out and the original Xbox will hold games back. Do people seriously think Microsoft doesn't have a plan? They have been planning for the release of this new system since like the week after Xbox One launched because that was a horrible mess. Just people need to stay calm and everything will work out. The people steering the ship know what they're doing. First off, are we really talking about having no games again? People are insane. Microsoft just told us last month that they plan to release a first party game every month every month but people say that no games are coming and there is no reason to buy a series x well let me tell you something there are a ton of games coming you got first party games you got third party games for sure and sprinkling the possibility of some second party games you got a ton of games now just because they might be playable on the last gen tech who cares apparently the series x is dead in the water and won't sell what let me ask you something so if you have the choice of playing a game on the original VHS size Xbox One at like 720p or playing the same game on the brand new Series X at like 4K60? What are you going to choose? It's pretty simple, right? Guess what? People like technology, especially gamers. So I have no doubts that the Series X is going to fly off the shelves and have a very, very healthy release. There, uh, there are games coming and you will have tons of reasons to buy the Series X when it releases later this fall. What Microsoft is doing is pushing their pro-consumerism even further. All those pro-consumer ideas, backwards compatibility, game pass, easy returns, they're just adding to it. They're basically saying to their loyal fans, you know that this new Halo and Forza, you'll be able to play it on your own system. It might not look the best, but you'll be able to play it. And when you get a chance, upgrade to the new system and you'll be able to get the full show the way it was intended to be played. I don't get it why people are, are trying to always beat down Microsoft uh, for being overly pro-consumer. They're just giving you options. They're not forcing you to do anything. I'm sure Sony will take a different approach, and they that will work for Sony. They don't have to do anything. They are the current market leader. Microsoft is just trying new things to gain people. They just want you in your ecosystem. That's all they want at the end of the day. The stat on how many physical consoles sold uh, doesn't really do anything anymore. That's so old school. The stat that does matter is how much profit and gains a company brings in. That's what shareholders look for. Here's another question for you. What do you think is better? Releasing a console and selling a couple million the first week or so? Or releasing a console with a hot game and possibly reach 15 million people in the first week? What Microsoft is doing is providing a new game to a much bigger install base, keeping people in their ecosystem and spending money. Profit is king, not the number of consoles. Microsoft is doing this to bring everyone into the next generation. Xbox is about family, a family of consoles, and a family of games, being able to play together. Everyone just needs to see this play out. I'm telling you, it will work out. They know what they're doing, and I, for one, can't wait to get my hands on an Xbox Series X. 
that's the uh, video today, guys. Uh, anyway, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later. Hey guys, so we mentioned at the beginning of the video that we're going to do a giveaway. So what we decided to do is, um, so at 250 subscribers and 500 subscribers, we're going to give away uh, copies of our 2020 cosplay calendar. Uh, so basically everyone that subscribes and leaves us a comment in on our, any of our videos uh, is entered. And once we hit those numbers, we will make sure we get those uh, drawn and uh, out to some of our subscribers. Anyways, good luck and enjoy and subscribe for your chance to win. Thanks.